Good morning to you all. How are you? Must be keeping fit and fine, isn't it? It's been almost two and a half months that we are not in contact with one another. I hope every one of you are doing something at home along with your studies. Aren't you studying? Hope you are studying nicely, not wasting your time. So now I want to start with your course. We are lacking behind. Let's start it up. Open your lesson, your textbook all of you. We are going to start with the lesson 5, page 60, Masa in the Night. Hope everyone has opened up your book and your lesson. Masa in the Night. This is a story about a girl called Masa who thought her bed was not very nice. Let us read about Masa's search for a better place to sleep and see what she finally finds. Masa lay in bed but she could not fall asleep. She felt hot. The bed seemed hard and the pillow felt big and bulky. She kicked off her blanket. Sleeping is so dull. She cried and tiptoed out of the house into the garden. What fun it was not to be sleeping. She skipped down the garden path. Tommy barked from his kennel. Grr, who is there? It's me, said Masa. I cannot sleep in my awful bed. Come, share my large kennel, said Tommy. Masa crawled into the kennel. She tried to curl up on the hay with Tommy. At first it seemed nice but soon she felt cold. So she crawled out and ran towards the chicken coop. The story tells us about a girl named Masa. She was going to her room to sleep but for her her bed was not at all comfortable for her she could not fall asleep she felt hot and she was thinking by herself that her bed was hard and the pillow was very big and bulky very heavy and difficult to move. She had a blanket over her body. She even kicked it off. And she was saying that sleeping is so dull. She quietly went out of the house into the garden as she could not sleep. She did not like her bed. Bed means where we sleep. She was saying that what fun it was not to be sleeping. And then she skipped down the garden path. She was walking slowly and slowly to the garden path. There was a dog named Tommy. He started barking from his kennel. And he was asking who is there because we all know that dogs bark at strangers so it was night he could not recognize properly Masa he thought someone some stranger so he started barking and he was asking that who is there Masa said it's me I cannot sleep in my awful bed I had to come out I was feeling hot. I did not like my bed. My bed is not comfortable at all. Then Tommy said, Come and you can share my large kennel with me. So Masa, she crawled into the kennel. She went inside the kennel 
and she tried to curl up she tried to adjust herself on the hay with tommy at first she liked it but slowly she was feeling cold and so she had to crawl out and ran towards the chicken coop why are you here asked speckled hen i could not sleep in my awful bed i tried the kennel but it was too cold said massa i feel nice and warm come sleep beside me offered speckled hen massa climbed onto the perch beside speckled hen the coop was nice and warm but the moment massa closed her eyes she fell off the perch she rushed out of the coop and sat on the porch steps so now after she came out of the kennel she came to the chicken coop chicken coop is a cage for chickens where chickens are kept then the speckled hen she met the speckled hen and he, the speckled hen was also asking why are you here why did you come out of your house so late at night then massa replied i cannot sleep in my awful bed awful means very bad i tried the kennel but it was too cold so the speckled hen said i feel nice and warm in my coop you can come and sleep beside me so massa was feeling very happy she climbed up onto the porch and then she started to sleep beside the speckled hen and hens used to sleep on the perch perch is a small wooden rod or branch on which birds used to sit so as we humans cannot sleep on the perch so massa as soon as she closed her eyes she fell from the perch then again she could not sleep there she rushed out of the coop and she came and sat down on the porch steps porch is a small area in front of a house a bat flew past her what are you doing he asked i am looking for a nice place to sleep i will not sleep in my awful bed said massa the kennel was too cold and i fell off the perch in the coop then follow me to the attic said the bat i sleep there by day and fly at night massa climbed up to the attic where is your bed asked massa massa asked the bed i don't need a bed i just hang upside down on my favorite nail explained the bed and he showed massa how he liked to sleep thank you for your offer said massa but i can't do that so first we have seen that massa she did not like her own bed she did not feel comfortable in her own bed so she came out of the house then she met tommy the dog and the dog that is tommy asked her to come and share his kennel there also she did not find any comfortable so she came out of the kennel next she met a hen and the home of a hen is called coop so there also the hen also offered her to sleep beside the hen but massa did not find any comfortable she fell down from the perch of the coop then she came out of the coop and she was sitting now on the porch steps so next at last she met the bat and the bat asked her 
what are you doing? Masa replied, I am looking for a nice place to sleep. I will not sleep in my awful bed. I tried the kennel, but it's too cold. Then I tried the coop. I fell off the perch in the coop. So the bed said, you come and follow me to the attic. I sleep there by day and fly at night. Bats used to sleep during the day and fly at night. So Masa, she was happy. She thought that she is going to get a place to sleep now. So she climbed up to the attic. Attic is a room or a space just below the roof of a house. As soon as she entered the attic, she asked the bed, where is your bed? She was dreaming of a bed. So the bed said to her, I don't need a bed. I just hang upside down on my favorite nails. The head is down and the legs are up. That is called upside down. And he showed Masa how he used to sleep upside down. Down. As soon as Masa saw him, she said that, Thank you for your offer, but I cannot sleep like this. So Masa climbed down the stairs. She crept into her room and lay down on her bed. Now her bed felt comfortable. My bed is the best, she said, and my pillow is so soft. She picked up the blanket off the ground lay down, yawned and fell fast asleep. So at last she realized that her own bed is the best. Her own pillow is very soft, which at first she thought that it was very big, very bulky, very heavy and difficult to move. And then slowly she came to her own room. She went to her bed and then she went off to sleep, finding her bed only a place of comfortable. So this story tells us that with whatever we have, we must be satisfied. We mustn't be thinking about something else that is not ours. Do you understand the story now? If you have any doubts, you can ask me. And then there are the meanings you can see below the lesson. You'll have to write it down in your copies. Got it all of you? Thank you.